So I recently made a video primarily about Doom Eternal's snap map. Now I just want to talk about the other components of the game, campaign and multiplayer. I might try to throw in some miscellaneous stuff to it too. I have made a video like this before, it was about my Doom 5 wish list. So some of the content are recycled, but I'll throw in some new ones to the mix also. Let's get to it! First of all, I want to talk about replayability for campaign. I personally thought the replay value was good in campaign. I mostly spent my time just playing the game again, like if I beat the campaign, I'll delete one of the saves and play it from scratch. I sometimes play it from the mission select, but it's just too easy for me to enjoy it. So that's really my only way to replay the campaign. And sometimes I'll change, you know, different weapon mods and runes just to spice things up. I also want to say the replay value is also enhanced by how unpredictable the AI can be. Doom 2016 definitely has the best AI out of any Doom game for sure. Then there's um, the arcade mode. I personally never really enjoyed it. I'm not really a big fan of these kinds of modes. So I don't really have any other options to play Doom 2016 other than just starting from scratch in the campaign. I always thought there should be like a pistol start mode. And I think having one for Doom Eternal or something like that can really enhance the replay value. Maybe there are different paths or routes you can take when entering an arena. Something that can really spice up the same arena that you'll always go to when you replay the campaign. I personally think a pistol start would feel right for me as far as increasing the replay value to the campaign goes. I always thought it would be cool if id Software can make these maps play differently when just starting with a pistol and trying to use your map knowledge to beat it just like in the classic Doom games. I believed that was something that um, Doom 2016 should have taken advantage of, but it never did. If they can Im implement it well, it can definitely change up the campaign experience, just like how in the old games on some of the maps, it can play very differently than finding all the weapons from the previous levels. Next part I want to talk about are the map design for the campaign. I hope to see more complex maps in Doom Eternal. I was kind of disappointed how a lot of the hell themed maps weren't really as complex in their map layout compared to the UAC themed ones. I think it'll be um, cool if they can combine the UAC map layout with, with the satisfying combat of the hell maps because I personally think the hell levels were the funnest ones to get into combat. So more bigger and complicated maps is something I would want to see and I believe we will see it because city levels are pretty much designed to be complex. At least um, that's how I believe it should be. This one is fairly standard but for new enemies I do hope we get brand new enemies in the Doom universe. Yes the Pain Elemental and Arch Vial are going to be new for the modern Doom sandbox but it's really nothing new for the entire Doom universe. So I hope we can get some fresh new enemies and bosses to fight. I really enjoyed fighting the Hellguards in Doom 2016 because they were something I didn't expect and they were a brand new enemy. They're not like a spiritual successor to the hitscan enemies like the possessed soldiers and they're not the enemies that we all know and love like the imps. So new enemies and bosses, I do hope to see more of that in the campaign and I want to use them in snap map also. I guess I can also say this can be related to the weapons too. I want to see better balance of the gameplay. I feel like certain weapon mods were much more powerful than others. There's no point of getting the heat blast because stun mod is pretty much the better one in every way, shape, and form. I see no real reason to use the combat shotgun once I upgrade the super shotgun to max level or get a rocket launcher. So these are some examples of having better um, balance in the next Doom game. Same thing can be said for the runes. There are some runes I personally think are just kind of meh, especially a lot of the glory kill ones. And then you got the equipment and double ammo runes, which in my eyes are extremely valuable and it's just something you have to equip. I hope to see lesser runes to be honest, but I want all of them to be very competitive and well balanced. Don't give me 16 rune options and only 5 of them are actually usable. Give me 7 of them, but all of these 7 runes, they offer something that can benefit you and you can only have 3 of them equipped. 
I hope to see the campaign will be harder than Doom 2016. I personally didn't find the campaign that hard on Nightmare difficulty, but it was better than Rage um, Nightmare or Ultra Nightmare difficulty for sure. Still though, I do hope fights can be more strategic. I think the problem with a lot of the fights in the campaign is that they're really not um, st strategic enough for me. I always feel like I can just figure out what to do fairly quickly when I first played it on Nightmare difficulty, and I think there needs to be fights that have you um, doing certain things. I realized a lot of my maps I make, a lot of my fights always kind of require you to play in a specific way, and if you don't, you can end up getting killed or just losing a lot of health, which can affect the future fights, which lower your chances to beat my maps without dying. I feel like Doom 2016's campaign on Nightmare doesn't have enough of that, so more of that would be great for sure. Last campaign expectations is more options for Ultra Nightmare. I really enjoyed playing Ultra Nightmare, but after seeing various custom made rules that people try to do to spice up their Ultra Nightmare experiences, I feel like why not take advantage of some of them, try to add some spin-offs to it. Ultra Nightmare with no upgrades, no BFG, no rune trials, and the list can go on really. I do hope these spin-offs are well balanced. I do believe they should be beatable because of your skill and knowledge, not just because you have the skill, knowledge, and now you need luck. I really want these spin-off modes to feel possible to beat it consistently with just your skill and knowledge of the game alone, and luck should never ever be a factor. Now for multiplayer. I personally think the multiplayer will be very similar to Doom 2016. I really think It'll just be the same game with more content and maps because I highly doubt they'll add a movement system or allow players to carry more than two weapons because they are trying to make this game more console friendly when switching your weapons rather than pressing a weapon wheel and trying to switch to another weapon is definitely not as convenient. I also think if they make the multiplayer too similar to like Quake 3 Arena or Unreal Tournament, I personally think most people aren't gonna really like play it. It seems like games that try to be like um, pure to like the traditional arena shooter formula just just doesn't seem to like hold up its population as months, you know, and years passes by because there are people that still play Doom um, 2016's multiplayer and that's because it's a lot more um, accessible it's definitely easier to pick up and play it doesn't require like you know um uh a lot of skill compared to like quake 3 or unreal tournament and it, and it definitely doesn't have like the skill gap to those games definitely nowhere near to it but still though i do want the game to live up a lot of things that i like about doom 2016's multiplayer i think it's fairly balanced with how the weapons behave or even the runes seem all decent from one another, and I hope they'll keep up with that. I do want to see old maps return in Doom Eternal. I think it'll be cool to bring back some of the old maps from Doom 2016, like Heat Wave and Perdition, which in my opinion were the best maps in Doom 2016. But I also want to see remakes of old maps from Classic Doom. I'm still shocked they haven't remade Entryway from Doom 2. That map can still work in a 6v6 format. Maybe try to add more stuff to the map for sure. But yeah, those are some of my basic thoughts on the multiplayer. I do want to say that I really love the netcode for Doom 2016's multiplayer because I absolutely absolutely think it's one of the better ones I've experienced so far from the recent games I played. I do feel like we should have a theater mode implemented. I remember during the Doom 2016 multiplayer alpha days, somebody managed to find a theater mode in the game, but it never got officially released for some reason. So I think having a theater mode would be awesome for sure. It's definitely going to encourage people to make montages of the game, which is always great to promote the game's multiplayer component. For snap map, since I already talked about that in my last video, I won't talk much about snap map here, but I do want to talk about future DLCs and expansions. I have a feeling we will get additional content down the road once the game is released, but I do hope future DLCs will be like a bundle. I didn't like how Doom 2016's DLCs was just multiplayer. It's nice to see they were eventually free later on, but I hope future additional content can be more than just multiplayer and snap map. 
I personally think they can easily throw in like a mini side campaign or something similar to what Wolfenstein 2 did with its DLCs. I hope future DLCs um, for Snap Map will be similar to how Doom 2016 handled it. I loved how all of it was free and they could have easily took advantage of us and nickel and dime us, but they didn't. And I'm glad, you know, Snap Map and Doom 2016 didn't uh, land in that path, but I really do hope the future Snap Map will follow the similar path that um, the original Snap Map did for Doom 2016. That's pretty much it for the video guys, so share me some of your um, expectations and like always, I will comment them if I have something to say. And thank you for watching everyone.